Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here and I'm back with another video. And today I wanted to do a little birthday luxury beauty haul. Okay, so listen, y'all know, um, I, your girl loves some luxury beauty and I started to dabble it, dabble in it a little bit last year on my channel to get a pulse. And then I just decided it doesn't really matter. I This is what I want to share because I love luxury beauty. And so my birthday is in the month of January at the beginning, uh, in early January. And so I got some things as some gifts and then I bought a few things for myself. And I was like, I need to film this video. I had to wait till everything came in because so you know shipping is crazy right now. So some things were delayed. I was like, because I want to use my things, okay? And so I have not used these products yet. And I was like, cause I be trying to give y'all the cute little, like so you can see what it actually looks like. But I, girl, I'm ready, okay? So some of these are gifts, like I said. And then some of, I mean, they're all gifts cause some of these things I bought for myself, okay? So I've got a whole box of stuff here, obviously from Sephora and then I've got another box to the side and I want to get into it so and and then I'll, I'll also let you know what things like didn't come from Sephora I just have them all in this box so let's let's oh and then yeah some things were yeah oh there's so much in here okay so first things first is I got the Natasha Denona mini Biba eyeshadow palette and let me tell you I had to get it because the big Biba eyeshadow palette by Natasha Denona is my favorite Natasha Denona palette. I thought bronze would be my favorite. Biba is my favorite. When I know I want that, that I look that neutral every day, but just flawless eye look, I go for Biba. So when I saw that she was releasing mini Biba, I was like, yep. Um, but this was a gift, you know, someone bought this for me. So shout out to you if you're watching. And um, so far, I have been enjoying it. This is not what I have on my eyes today, but I have worn this and I think it's really, really gorgeous. I love the fact that it's like neutral. It's not cool toned. It's not warm. It is actually neutral. And because my undertone is neutral, slightly warm, you know, it looks really, really great on my skin. Okay. So the next thing that... Um, I got as a gift are these, I think it's pronounced L'Occitane, maybe L'Occitane. You would think after six years of French, I would know how to pronounce this, but it is their Almond Body Balm. Let me tell you, I hauled this last year in a video and I was like, girl, $39 for a tub of this. I... I loved it. I love it was worth every penny. And so I got two as a gift. So I'm really, really excited because I also really enjoy their almond shower oil and also their um, after shower almond oil. So it's a whole little system, you know, so if you like almond fragrance, baby, and the way my skin be set up in the wintertime, like my body, my face has oily skin, my body has dry skin and so I need oil, like lotions what is a lotion I need oils and butters and I love these too okay so the next thing that I got was part of the gift that um um that came with you know the the eyeshadow and the bombs was at the time I think Sephora was doing like you can get all these samples and they all came in this like bag they all they all came in this bag right here right so normally you get like one or two samples with your Sephora or but it came with a huge bag of samples and I want to show you what I got so um so this was part of the gift I ended up getting a Sephora coconut face mask I if y'all don't know I have a face mask addiction sheet mask addiction addiction and I have several of Sephora face masks and I absolutely enjoy them. So I got that. The other thing that came as um, in that kit was the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. So that came as a sample. I also got the Amika 
Flash Instant Shine Hair Mask. So deluxe sample of that. Also in there came this Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So got a sample of that. I also got a sample of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which I've actually tried a sample before. This is a really good size. You can get several uses out of this, okay? In addition, that what also came in that bag was a um, Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. So got that mascara. I also got, what is this? This is... Kerastase, I think that is, but I think this is a, I think this is a, might be a hair product. I need to look this up, but I got that as well. Also, what came in that bag is the Anastasia or Anastasia, depending on how you pronounce it, Brown Wiz Skinny Brown Pencil. I got a, you know, a mini one of those. And then it also came with the standard samples. And so um, I, one of my favorite things to do, like if I'm going to get a sample is I always prefer to get a fragrance sample because that's how I get to try new fragrances. And then I get to decide whether or not I want to commit to a full size without blind buying. So I got Gucci Bloom, okay, which I think I have, I don't know if I've spelled Bloom, smell Bloom before or if it was Flora, but one of them I did get before and I really enjoyed it. Skylar Vanilla Sky. I'm not really a vanilla fragrance kind of woman, but we'll see. It's just a sample, right? Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. And then also Maison Louis Marie. Um, number four in Bois de Balancourt. Butchering it. So all of those samples came with that gift. Okay, now... Some things that I bought myself is I bought the new NARS Afterglow Cheek Palette because I am addicted to blush, okay? I'm, I'm addicted to blush and I don't want any help, okay? I, particularly a blush palette. There is something about blush that just, ah, I just love it, okay? And so when I saw this, I was like, I, I'm, I'm absolutely getting it. So I am a fan of NARS blushes, um, particularly of their powder blushes. I'm not a huge fan of their baked blush formula, but here is the compact. Ooh, it's so reflective. And then here are the blushes. Oh, the camera's not even doing it justice, baby. These, these colors are a lot richer. Now, I believe that these are all existing shades. Okay, I'm trying not to like, there we go. These are all existing shades, I believe, because I have a NARS palette that has Exhibit A and Savage in it, but I was like, I still want the other color. So it's five blushes and a highlight. I'm not a highlight wearer. I hardly ever wear a highlight. I will wear a shimmering blush, hardly ever wear a highlight, but this, I had to get it. And the packaging is just, I'm a sucker. I, I mean, I've gotten my fingerprints all over it, but I got that. And I will, I will link to all of these below, right? So I will link to everything that I got below in case you're curious. Then I took a trip out to the cosmetics um, company outlet store and I picked up a another Tom Ford quad. And this is in the shade Suspicion. I have already used this because I couldn't wait. I really enjoy Tom Ford's um, quads, particularly I think this is what's considered the wet dry formula. So it comes in a little dust bag, and then this is the component if you've never if you've never seen it. And let me open this up. And y'all know I, I so I don't like to do the most of my eyeshadow, and so these colors are right up my alley. Particularly these two right here. These these are right up my alley. Okay, so I love a softer makeup look. Y'all know. This is kind of what you're going to get from me. I love a soft, truly soft lamp. Sometimes people say soft lamp and it looks like drag makeup done in neutral colors. I, soft lamp is like soft to me, right? It's soft makeup. Like, yes, there is makeup there, but also like you can still see the woman behind the makeup. So picked up that Tom Ford quad in Suspicion. 
I have been enjoying it. I think this is my second time for a quad, but then I also have his shade and illuminate um, duo palette. I also have his foundation and baby, that foundation is nice, okay? Um, then y'all, let me tell you, let me tell you, I bought another blush. When I, when I saw this blush, when I first saw it, I was like, I'm getting it. Then I saw one of my favorite YouTubers swatch it and I was like, at cart, I'm checking out immediately, okay? This, this color blush, first of all, this color blush is my signature color. I don't have it on today, but if you were to open up my blush drawer, I probably have six or seven different variations on this tone and I'm not gonna stop. I, I will get it in different finishes, formulas, slightly different undertones from different brands. And who gonna check me, boo? Okay, so I picked up the limited edition Chanel blush in the shade Brune Roussi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I, this is the product I was waiting on that took a little long because I ordered it from Nordstrom's and I was like, it needs to come on with the come on. And then, okay, when I got it, y'all, I had to swatch it. I had, I had to swatch it. So I didn't put it on my cheek. I just did a little finger swatch because I didn't want to completely mess it up. But now that I have filmed this video, it is going to go on my face. I'm, I'm going to slather, I'm going to lather my face in this blush. So again, similar to Tom Ford, comes in a, a little um, velvet dust packet or dust bag. And then you have the actual blush component. Gorgeous, right? Um, and then, so you have a push opening. And when you open it, okay, the brush is on top. I'm not going to use that. And then there's like this little, it kind of sits in this little plastic thing. And then you have the blush. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got the Chanel C's in it and it looks like a sunburst. This color, this like deep, dark terracotta is my signature blush color when i don't know what blush to wear when i don't know what makeup look i'm doing i go for this color pat mcgrath has a color that's very similar called paradise venus but i swatched them next to each other baby this is deeper okay this is deeper if y'all ever want to see me do my signature um makeup look i tell people i don't have an everyday makeup look because i don't wear makeup every day but i do have like a signature look like when i don't know what else to do or when i want to feel my best. I have this very like brown neutral signature makeup look and this I, it might be coming for Pat's neck. It might be coming for Paradise Venus neck. I haven't swatched it on the face so I don't know yet. I don't know yet but baby okay so I got that and I am hype about it. Now I know that Chanel recently changed their blush formula in their more traditional uh, blush format and I heard it's trash. So I probably won't be picking up any of those. Um, but this format, listen. Okay. I Okay, speaking of Chanel, I also got a gift from a dear friend of mine who sent me some goodies for my birthday. And I'm going to share with you what I got from her. So she knows that I love luxury beauty. And so she was like, you know, here's some gifts for your handbag. So um, the gift came with a sample of Coco de Chanel, uh, Coco Mademoiselle. So um, I think I've smelled this before, but I got a sample of that. So continuing to add to my perfume sample collection. Um... And then, you know, it's like a great way just to really test the longevity of a fragrance, the sillage on it, you know, how it works with your body chemistry, all of that. So another fragrance sample to add to the pack. Um, it also came with a, a La Base Mascara. So I get to try out the Chanel Mascara and I'm excited about that. This all came in, in the pack. And then also she got me Boy de Chanel, which is a lip balm from Chanel so that I can just throw this in my bag and have a little, you know, a little luxe here and there. And it's just really nice and sleek. I just love how like minimal it is. It's a clear bomb. Let me open it up so you can see. It is a clear 
bomb but i really really like the packaging the weight on it and then the other thing that came in that package is she got me a hand cream from chanel and let me tell you i just love the shape of the packaging of this so if you have not um seen the chanel hand cream it looks like this and i think it is gorgeous right you know really sleek to go in your handbag and um, y'all, if I see me looking down, I'm looking at the monitor because I'm trying to make sure that I stay in focus and that y'all don't get a certain glare. But this is the this is the Chanel hand cream, and so I just was like, I just thought that was so sweet. I was like, my friends know me so so well, so just a little bit of luxury for you know my everyday for my handbag, you know, a little, a little bouge if you will. And and so and that'll go perfectly with the Chanel blush that I'm gonna be slathering all over my face. Okay. Now, the last three things that I bought myself, baby, and I do have one of them on my face today because I just couldn't resist. It they are from. Let me open. Let me get the. Let me get the box. So, because I just want you to see. I just want you. I'm just about to hold up the box so you just know. Lisa Eldridge. Now listen, I already have several. Of Lisa Eldridge's matte lipsticks I have um, a lip liner from her and I have several glosses so I picked up two additional lip liners from Lisa I picked up this is in midnight to um, go with her velvet midnight lipstick and I also picked up decade which is like the perfect brown lip liner for me like it's the exact color of my skin so not when I'm necessarily trying to deepen up a lip color but when I just want to blend something seamlessly into my skin decade because the velvet lipstick in decade is literally a neutral brown that is my skin tone it looks completely neutral on me and I I love it I love it so much so I picked the two lip liners and let me say something these do not budge I swatched these on my hand and then I went to try to wipe it off and they were like, where you think we going? <laughs> Girl, we're here to stay. Unless you put makeup remover on us, we're not going nowhere. If you invite us into the party, we stand. Okay, so they do not budge. Let me show you what the component looks like if you're not familiar with it or you're not familiar with Lisa Eldridge. So this is the um, lip liner and her caps are like really, really tight. So that is the product it's you know it's a little less sharp because i did use it not today but like i said i swatched it and i did use it because i couldn't wait i was waiting on my chanel blush to do this video and it was you know north Shores was playing games with the shipping so two of her lip liners and then i got some sample cards of her foundation and what you will see is that this sample card has been opened because that is the foundation that I'm wearing today. Listen, I probably should do a whole review on Lisa's foundation. I'm on, first of all, these sample sizes are so big. I'm on my third use of just the little bubble for a full face and still have product in the package. So if you are somebody who, you know, wants to try to find your right shade match, you know, grabbing one of her sample packs, because um, it comes four colors in a pack. So let me show you. It comes four colors in a pack. This, this was the deep set number two, and this was the deep set number one. Y'all, I am the lightest shade in the deep set number one. I'm shade 33, and there are seven shades after me. Seven, not one, which is usually the case, not two. There are seven shades after me. And I will say this, I was on FaceTime with a good friend of mine when I was putting on the sample and we literally were screaming at the shade match, number one, and the finish. It literally, I mean, you probably can't tell now, I've had it on for several hours, but it still looks amazing. When you put it on, it literally looks like you're putting a filter on your face. I know people say that, but like there's actually an ingredient in here that Lisa talks about on her channel 
that it's like after it sets it's like a it's like this mesh material in the foundation that just goes over your face and makes it super smooth baby now let me tell you i was out here you know risking it all okay because i blind bought the foundation and i bought it in the right color i bought it in um number 33 because lisa has a shade match finder on her website based on you can put like other foundations that you've used in there and so what i did is i think i have six or seven foundations i, I put all of them in there that i could so that i could see and it bounced me around you know two shades and so i was like you know what i'm just gonna risk it all because i want the foundation and it is the perfect match because i've only worn it three times Okay, I am not going to say it's my favorite foundation, but it's my favorite foundation at the moment for sure. I don't know how this is going to hold up under Texas heat. And what's great about this is the finish is really dependent upon what you put underneath. So I like more of a matte finish. So I prep my face to be matte and this goes on beautifully. First of all, let's get into this box. Okay, can we get into this box? Then I want you to get into the bottle. Oh, oh yes. So the bottle comes in this like velvet stand. And this is this is the bottle. It is not meant to stand up. It is meant, so there's a flat side. It's meant to lay on its side. And if you ever watch Lisa's um, reveal video, she gives you you know, what the inspiration uh, from the packaging design was sculpture, all that kind of stuff. But she's also like, or you can just leave it sitting up in the box on your vanity just like this. It's got a pump underneath here. I won't bore you with all of that. Um, yeah. So that is my Luxury Beauty birthday haul. I've got some really, really good goodies. Let me know if you you know, enjoy these types of videos? Do you want to see some get ready with me's? Do you want to see some tutorials? Do you want to see product reviews? Do you want to see swatches of some of these, you know, luxury products on dark skin? Like right now, I think I have five Pat McGrath palettes and you know, like I can have a resource video for you guys of like, this is what bronze seduction swipes like on dark skin. This is what, you know, um, Utopian dreams look like I can do the same thing for some of my Natasha Denona palettes for some of my busy art palettes um, You know, those are kind of the main eyeshadow brands that I use is Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, busy art I think I may have I think I may have a couple other brands in there. Like I've got Patrick Ta. I think I got a few um, Too Faced in there, but Definitely luxury. I got like I said a couple of Tom Ford quads things like that. Let me know um, happy new year if I haven't said it already and yeah y'all so I will see you in my next video peace